And the state is one step closer to banning gender-affirming care for minors. The Senate Rules Committee voted to pass a bill that bans surgeries and other procedures for children under 18 years old. It'll now head to the floor for a vote sometime later this session. News 4's Nick Camper was there to hear arguments from both sides. Nick, what'd you find out? Well, Republicans are working to fulfill the promise from Governor Kevin Stitt. He said this week that he would sign any legislation that bans gender-affirming care for minors. Democrats, however, argue that medical experts are not being consulted. It's dangerous when we have legislators deciding what is medically appropriate. Democrats like Julia Kurt argued that a ban on gender-affirming care is being voted on without the advice from the medical community. Things have changed in many aspects of medicine and science, and we need to be listening to those best practices. Even if it's not finalized, even if that care is not totally decided and things are changing. Senator Julie Daniels is the Republican author of Senate Bill 613. She does have a law degree, but not a medical background. She says her motivation to write and pass this bill comes from the concern over the consequences of irreversible procedures. I've talked to parents who are both in this position with their children and some who have been quite frightened by having their children in this position and feeling that there is an undue influence and pressure put on them to agree to treatment and procedures that they don't believe to be wise. Daniel says OU Health was consulted on the language of the bill, but not for their medical opinion. We reached out to OU to ask if they were in fact consulted. A spokesman could not confirm or deny. The bill outlaws gender transition procedures for minors, such as surgeries and medication that postpones puberty. Out of an abundance of caution, that is why we are waiting until age 18 before these decisions can be made. However, the ban does not include other body-altering procedures like breast implants, lip injections, or Botox. Daniels was asked why not. This bill speaks only to gender transition procedures. I understand that people have brought that up as an argument. It's not any part of the subject matter of this bill. The bill goes against advice from the American Academy of Pediatrics. It recommends that children identifying as transgender and gender diverse should have access to comprehensive care.